Hello everyone and welcome back to Tuscany. I am Danilo Romolini and today we are in the Chianti area, immersed in green, surrounded by olive trees, vineyards and ancient farmhouses. We are here to visit together an immaculately restored ancient hamlet with lots of stories to tell. There is lots to see. Let's begin the tour. Come with me. First of all, let's talk about the location. We are in one of the most prestigious areas in the whole Chianti region, which is quite broad. In fact, we are 13 kilometers to Gaiola in Chianti, 19 kilometers to Siena, about one hour to Montalcino and one hour and a half to Florence. The property is nestled on a romantic hilltop with incredible views on the nature all around. The property is an ancient borgo, which is the Italian word for hamlet. It is very large, it is 4,700 square meters, which equals to about 50,500 square feet with currently 17 bedrooms in total, and there is the possibility to be creating up to 26. It is immersed in its large plot of land of 15.3 hectares of external space, which equals to approximately 37.8 acres. It is made up mostly of woodland, and of beautiful ancient olive trees. They are about 250 and they produce on average 250 liters of excellent biological olive oil every year. The hamlet has been built piece by piece in different phases. The most ancient part is doubtlessly the main villa that you see right behind me. It is dating back to nearly 1,000 years ago. And originally it didn't have this front facade as you see it. In fact, that part has been modified and added towards the 1700s. And you can notice that by the style that it represents. The other buildings were created one after the other between the 15 and 1700s. Being very ancient, the estate had numerous owners. It was once owned by a cardinal living in the main villa and another of the large buildings was used as a convent. Documents show that even the renowned Galileo Galilei has lived in this property for a period of his life. It has been lived by several families, even at the same time. It was truly like a small town, with its church, its shoemaker and its tailor. This property truly has lots of stories to tell. I was speaking to the housekeeper earlier and he told me how once he met an older man of about 90 years old that told him how he learned to ride a bike when he was a kid on the front terrace of this villa. Another old lady told him how she was given birth to in one of the buildings on the estate that I'll show you later. And another older man told him how about 70 years ago he gave his first kiss under an ancient oak right by this property. Lots has happened in this estate. Let's begin talking about the buildings. The first two right behind me are to be restored. The larger one on the left is 252 square meters and is laid on three levels. Then the smaller one is 215 meters. It was in the past the Porcilaia, which when it was a farmhouse is where they used to keep the pigs. 
The old barn is 734 square meters, so 7,900 square feet. Two bedrooms and one bathroom laid on two floors has been entirely renovated and houses on the ground level a large garage space where several cars can be conveniently sheltered. On the upper floor is a large room, very bright and with a typical beam ceiling, ideal for events. The janitor's dwelling is on a separate wing of the building with two bedrooms and a bathroom with as well a kitchen and living area. The fourth building right below the old barn is 460 square meters with currently six bedrooms and six bathrooms and independent accesses on the two levels. It is fully beautifully restored and is currently rented out to guests. The building features several charming outdoor spaces like the one you see right behind me with this wonderful portico and this huge column right by the entrance of the living room with an outdoor dining area and a pizza oven to enjoy a pleasant summertime evening. On the lower floor we find with an independent access and independent outdoor areas we find two other bedrooms they have their own accesses and this beautiful table and portico outside are ideal for summertime. Let me show you their private swimming pool on the lower terrace. I love this pool area, beginning from this side over here where we can notice the exposed rock onto which the whole property is built. As we keep going on this side, there is a beautiful garden all around with a sunbathing area and this stunning octagonal swimming pool with a stone edge and on the inside finished with a darker finish and the blue water is so beautiful. On a side of the villa we find the precious chapel of the property. It is surrounded by all of these colorful, full of flowers, aromatic plants. It has a view on the countryside over here and it is fully restored, in immaculate condition, it is consecrated, therefore ideal if one wants to run events or have weddings at the property. And now the best part, the main villa. It is 1,700 square meters in internal spaces, which equals to about 18,000 square feet. Currently seven bedrooms and five bathrooms. It is laid on several floors and is the classic example of an elegant Tuscan stately villa. Let's see it inside. As you enter through the main door, you right away find this large hallway. As you can notice, everything has been restored with high-end finishes, maintaining as much as possible the original features and materials, truly preserving the original Tuscan elegance. The hallway divides this initial part in two. On my right, you access to what can be considered as a main bedroom. In fact, it is beautiful, really large, with high vaulted ceilings and full of natural light. Next, it has its huge ensuite bathroom with its walk-in closet. In the end, we find its living area and connecting to the large terrace outdoor.
before accessing the kitchen on the other part, we find a large bathroom that serves all of the ground floor areas. And here we have the beautiful kitchen. It is equipped by two spacious pantry rooms over there. As we keep looking, we find two large windows on a corner that gives us views on the countryside, but at the same time, lots of natural lights. On the walls, we find colorful, typical Tuscan details and finishes, together with this high vaulted ceiling painted in white and giving even more light. Over here, we find the double sinks, the working top, made all in thick marble. And I love as well these hand-painted tiles. These are ancient and have been restored with the property. Next, we find the main dining space. I love how big the room is and the height is even more emphasized from these stripes on the walls, which are really elegant and stylish. I also love the terracotta floors, which have been left original. Over there, there is a large original fireplace that is working and is perfect also for the winter time to heat up the room and make it even cozier. The huge table in the central part currently has eight chairs, but it can host up to 12 people. Next, on the other corner of the villa, we find the living area. There is so much natural light. We have two large windows on both sides and we are on a corner, so there is a double exposure. We have access onto a huge terrace on the front part I'm about to show you. We have beautiful original terracotta floors. We have a warm yellow color for this room and on the ceiling, the wooden covered details have been painted in white to give even more natural light. The front terrace is doubtlessly one of the most remarkable spots in the whole villa. The views are outstanding and the terrace is really large, made out of terracotta. On this side over here, we find this comfortable sitting area, ideal to enjoy reading a book, laying on the couch, or as well a morning coffee, or in the evening, a beautiful aperitivo with the sunset right there with purple and orange skies. On the first level of the villa, we find the rest of the bedrooms and bathrooms. Let's begin on this side with one of the most beautiful bathrooms of the villa. It has a checkered floor with different marbles. It has a beautiful bathtub, nice and spacious, and as well, it has its own shower. That bathroom is serving this bedroom over here, which is on one of the corners, and you can see the exposed beams it is very beautiful and warm. On the other side, we have another two bedrooms. This is the first one, very warm and cozy. All of the details, the walls, the beams have been restored in a conservative way. I love how warm this room is. The colorful details all around in pink. We have two windows overlooking the green. We are now on the highest point of the property. This is the tower of the villa. It is beautiful to see all of this woodwork on the ceiling. The room is immense, the bed is huge, and the views are outstanding. We are really high up, and from this side you can even see the sunset in the evening. This room and the last bedroom we've seen are both served by a cozy bathroom right there.
And here we are on the lower ground level of the villa. This floor can be independently accessed, but at the same time, we are as well underground. There are these beautiful vaulted ceilings. These were in the past probably the wine cellars of the estate. Nowadays, they are used as a games room on this side with a beautiful, huge snooker table. It is very cool because we are partially underground, so it keeps the temperature very well. Next, we have this reception space with this huge, wonderful library. It connects the large living area we've just seen, the bedroom on this level over here with its ensuite bathroom. And in front of me, there is the access to a second kitchen. In fact, all of this level could be considered like an independent apartment because it has several outdoor accesses and a second kitchen that accesses its garden. Let's have a look. Have a look at this space. It is huge. I love how it is completely paved with these huge slabs of stone. Nice and high vaulted ceilings, all restored. On this part, we have a beautiful dining area that accesses onto the outdoor space I will show you in a second. And over there we have the extension that keeps going and gets to the second kitchen of this villa. All of this part on the lower floor has been thought to be useful in the summertime. All of this floor is really cool. It has access to the outdoor spaces, therefore very comfortable to use in the summer days. Right next to the dining space on the outdoor part, we find the terrace. Over here, we have several levels and areas. The first one on this side is stone paved. We have this beautiful pergola with lush plants with an outdoor sitting area. As we keep going, we are immersed in plants that shelter us from the sun. And under them, there is a beautiful large table. This is ideal to have lots of friends, lots of people in the evening or at lunch. And it is a huge table, beautiful to gather together. Right next, we have the incredible swimming pool. The pool is made like a T shape. In fact, it blends together the kind of long and thin swimming pool that you can swim on, on this first part over here. And the last bit is a traditional swimming pool to relax and enjoy the view. The pool area over here is truly a dream. It is perfectly refined with this beautiful hedge on this side, and this shape makes it unique, it makes it elegant, and there is enough space to host lots of people in the middle of the green, in the middle of Chianti. On the lower terrace, we find a second large space with a beautiful fountain. Let's have a look. Right next to the property we've just seen, we have a smaller cottage. It is 180 square meters, two bedrooms and one bathroom. It is lovely. It has its own independent access. You can reach it by car independently and it can be given to guests that want some privacy. And here we are ending today's property tour. 
I think this estate truly ticks all the boxes. It is on a prime location. We are on one of the most desired areas in all of Chianti. We are on a reserved location in total privacy, immersed in nature, but at the same time, the property is easy to access and close to the main road. The property is large. It offers enough space for a large family with several members that each one wants their privacy. At the same time, it has lots of common areas to enjoy and live life together. It is ideal also for an accommodation business because it has lots of bedrooms and possibility of expanding by restoring the buildings that need to be finished up. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. I truly loved it. Please let me know in the comment section below and subscribe to the Romolini channel for the best homes of Italy every week. Until next time, ciao!